I need to speak because I just randomly came up, not randomly, but something came up for the new season of 2 in Total Drama. I know I've been slacking on the reviews and stuff because this and that. Mainly because it was during school and I was procrastinating and it was the end of the year and that's basically how that goes. So, I was going to make another video about it where I'm ranking all of the Total Drama characters and well, yeah, I'm still working on that and that was supposed to be the next video and I might just stop reviewing this, this season's videos but I will give my full season review on it though but I don't know I, st I just still don't know because it just depends on what I'm doing I guess but but don't mind none of that right now Season 2 leaks have come out, and I'm telling you this now, I just gained big theory predictions, which might just be sort of confirmed, not really, but seeing it now, there are spoilers incoming, there are spoilers, so will not watch this video, all you Total Drama fans who are most likely just not even subscribed to me, just watching me for the Total Drama content, if you're actually interested, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, it wasn't meant to be negative, it's just what I'm saying. Because this is this is big, and so I wanted to give my perspective on it, and I hope you stick around for my theory. If you do not, want, if you do, don't mind the spoiler. It's not a big, big spoiler. It is a big spoiler, but it isn't the biggest spoiler. If there's the thing. So I think I have stuff to show you, and and I then I'm gonna move on to my prediction for said uh, spoiler. Yeah, yeah. The outcome of said spoiler. Okay. okay, so let's start with this minor spoiler. I thought I was gonna get to the big spoilers, but like, here's actually a minor spoiler before we get into the whole like pictures of the leaks that one of the Spanish voice actors, aka the Spanish voice actor Chris, shared. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but um, I just I just want to get this across. But. Here on my screen, this is, I just made this real fast, kind of rushed. This is said rat team. And there's another rat team. Um, it has something to do with rats. We have Wayne Raj, Bowie, MK, Julia Ripper, and Julia and Scary Girl. Alright, I'm not going to spend too long on this, but this is an interesting pairing. I like how different it is. So we are seeing Chase and Ripper on the same team with Bowie, Wayne, and Raj. I don't know why. And Scary Girl, I feel like it's like a wild ride there. And MK and Julia, I hope MK gets her revenge on Julia. I'm glad to see that, but like, it, moving on from that, I'm not worried about that. I'll probably talk about that for another time. Then we have the Skunk Team, which is Millie, Millie Priya, Z Damien, uh, Axel, Michelle, uh, Emma, and King Up. I can't, this, this team actually looks really interesting, and I'm really intrigued on how they're gonna portray this i want to I, I really want to see more from a lot of these guys well michelle caleb axel damien and uh, there's uh i like z but i like z i love z but i don't know how long they're really gonna keep this gimmick going for him all right but that those are the teams that are revealed so let's move on to the actual big spoiler you've been warned so here is the big spoiler. Bam. So the rat team lost. So we have Bowie, Julia, Raj, Leah, the Gun. No, 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 no. And Scary Girl. Well, I'm gonna nickname her Normal Girl. Because here's what I've been hearing. 
Scary Girl came back with a normal look so she could, I guess, fit in or last longer. But turns out that was more scarier than normal, which I like. <laughs> it's funny, but like, didn't you see this up close? Well, I like the sound of it. But didn't you see this up close in Little Girl? And she looks so different. And it's like, all right, now you can see why. I, yeah, I mean. She looks pretty normal, I guess, I guess you can go with it. But it turns out that was more scarier than actual scary girl, or Lauren, which is oh wow. So, they actually voted her out. Yes, I know, it's crazy. And here's normal girl up close. Now, here's the thing. They voted her out first, I guess, because she was scarier than normal, and it's just normal scary girl. So, they didn't want to deal with it. They gave the rat team, didn't want to deal with it for however long. So, instead of waiting, they just got her up out now. So this is where my whole point came across and this is what I'm about to get into. But first, let's point on, let's, let's, let's call out these other screenshots that we, I have. Um, also, on the left, on the right to these photos is like Spanish text, which I decided not to screenshot because one, I, I'm not gonna really talk about it and plus they're just text I can't read. So if you, the leaks are already on YouTube, so I just, just if you want to see those, uh, but here are some other screenshots. We have, I, I don't know which team this is, it might be the rat team, but it looks like this is the first challenge, and this is like some type of shooting challenge with like paint or whatever, and the background is in a different scenery or area, I don't know where they could be. This next shot is Nichelle winning it for her team, by the way. Nichelle's actually winning it for her team. I hope she gets a big push this season. Uh, I'm saying she's in the final five, final three, final four, actually. Then there's an old lady. I don't know what she's doing here, and then Chris. And then you have the, the skunk team uh, cheering that Nichelle made it for them to get the win. Now, moving back, they're in this weird scenery, and then, the, and then there was an old lady in the background that could be one of the relatives, one of the relatives, maybe the shells, because she had problems, like, finishing stuff, because she was an actress and all, uh, but she looks like she actually did it for one of the challenge, which is good to see, and, like, but the background, like, is, is this a new environment, are we still on the island, are we... Like, where are I? It's still on the island, I'm pretty sure. It's supposed to be still on the island. That's what it was said. But, like, where are we in said island? Or Tokurama Island. I can't buy one now. And it, this challenge looks interesting, also, because there's a line across and they're getting hit by a tape. And someone did say that this looks like Squid Game or Hairprints, which I actually see. So, and there could be movie based challenges. Take time to drag me, shoot, or something to say. And this might be where the more challenges, the more interesting, cooler challenges are going to come in. And which I just can't wait to see the challenges because that's the one thing I've been wanting to see the difference of. Or how are the challenges going to be different? Because I just enjoy the challenges in Total Drama if it already, is already, isn't obvious already. But here's my big theory that I'm going to just talk about and rant. So just, just don't get, just expect a lot. So, Scary Girl is the first one eliminated. If it isn't already, already, if I already didn't say so, I forgot. So, is that it for Scary Girl's character? Now here's what I was thinking. But that's what I was thinking. That's the question I was asking myself. There's no way, uh, is that, uh, is that the it for Scary Girl's character? Like, there's no way they're gonna really get rid of Scary Girl like that. But then, like, you start thinking about it, and I started seeing some things. So I just started thinking, hold up, wait a minute. I like this intern idea. I saw someone say that Scary Girl might be an intern. That actually could possibly work. And expanding on to that, Scary Girl was eliminated because, like I said already, she tried to be normal, but her normal self was scarier than uh, normal Scary Girl, aka Lauren. Well, that doesn't make sense. Normal Scary Girl, quotation marks, was scarier than the actual Scary Girl that we saw in season one. I don't know how they're gonna portray that, but that's crazy. So they gotta go, they gotta go. But I, maybe Chris is like, oh hell, fun fact, Lauren, you can stay as an intern or something like that. And she's like, haha, I'm gonna make all your lives a living nightmare. Cause she said, she did kind of threaten them in the end. I'm like, tossed it off when she was getting eliminated. 
So maybe something's going to happen. But here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. They changed the design. Not they changed it. They went through a design change. Maybe somewhat of a character change. Something like it. To give off the fact that she is staying even longer. So they're giving her this intern role. So she can do whatever she wants freely. Not like she can do it. I mean, she'll do it anyways because it's scary girl. And just her being in a challenge. Like, that doesn't stop her from doing whatever she wants. But, like, it gives her more leeway. Not leeway. No, not leeway. It gives her more just to do without having to do a challenge like she was doing first because, again, she's a contestant. So, getting her out of the competition and making her an intern, she can mess with the challenges, mess with the contestants while they're dealing with whatever they're dealing with. The drama, like Julian MK, Kayla maybe wanting revenge or however that goes. And he is going like crazy. She's like not really ruining the season, but she's like ruining the season. Well, she's ruining the season, but for the contestants. Like they they don't want her here. They, they don't like having her as an intern. And Chris doesn't see the problem until she, she makes a problem. And she forces that problem until like, she, all right, she's got to go. Until like, so we get to the end and then that's where her character really like shifts. And she becomes this eviler, more, I don't know what to say, like, she just changes so much that they gotta find a way to get her out now, or either total drama is over, and they're all dead, which could seemingly be the fact. Now, I think that's kind of it for what I was saying. Yeah, she gets eliminated, they, they... She gets eliminated first. It, to me, as an intern, she interferes in Tampa between challenges and the contestants, leading her to get wanting Chris or whoever just to get her out of here. So they try to find a way to get her out. That it does. So it doesn't like. So getting her gone doesn't take up like the entire season. Like in the end, we're struggling. Like that's the final goal. Like we still get the winner, but like a side quest is to get Scary Girl off the island. And maybe she can get taken to some mental ward or some place to help her that doesn't really work. So, like, I don't know how that, that really, like, I don't know how that would work. I don't know what they would do. But that just sounds like that's where they're going. I mean, well, it sounds like it, but that, that's the idea I'm getting. And hell, I I even think that may even be better because that means her gimmick from the start wasn't to make it farther. Or her gimmick wasn't for her to make it far in the competition. But it was for her to get the chance to show it off. Show it off. Yes, to show it her side off so that she can come back and then Chris makes her even stay even longer. Even though they don't want her there but like she's gonna be there for the taste of uh, what sort of drama or to make the show interesting because if they kept her on there people were gonna get in this, this gimmick of her is gonna get repetitive either way so to try and fix that they are gonna like take her well not even have to fix it but they're gonna just remove her from the competition drop her into the side where she can do whatever she wants until the end and that's what that's that that's it that's all i got that's all i have for the scary girl lauren prediction i think she's gonna do something crazy like she already hasn't done and she's gonna try and ruin the competition and it's gonna do something bad for the hoes the producers for everyone and they're gonna they're gonna they do something i don't know and maybe then that's that's how that that's how that goes I, I don't know how else to say it, and that's, I think that's where my theory ends. Now, I hope that's what happens, because that sounds like the better option than actually voting her off with a new design and her new character, and maybe character, which is just a scary version of herself. It just, it just sounds like something's missing, and she's just gone like that. And you can't, and there's like, there's missed potential there, again, with Scary Girl. Which is why I came up with this whole thing and which is why I'm dropping this right as I'm talking about it. Because I've said this multiple times in the time span of a few hours. 
and I couldn't get this off my mind. So now I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen this season. And I'm also excited for the challenges, uh, which I should probably talk about, which I am. So, that's all I'm gonna say so far. All right, so that, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got because my God, I, I'm also getting hot because of the thought. And I've just been saying so much. I'm getting excited, way too excited for this. And like, ah, geez, I, I'm so excited for season two. I cannot wait. I, I think I'm gonna make a separate video on my thoughts and ideas and predictions for season two because I already have some predictions for season two. And once they start dropping season two trailers, I think I'm gonna get back at it with the grind for that. Whenever that happens, which like I'm saying this, like the first season didn't come out in April. That was two months, like, three months. Three months, March, April, May, June, June, May. That was two months ago. So like, oh my, I'm just being more excited. Oh god, we, oh man. I, I, whenever that time comes, I definitely make videos about it. But I gotta also give up my predictions, cause now I've also changed my predictions, like list of who I think is gonna be eliminated, and now. I now I have like these ideas of challenge, and I already got that point across, but I think there's more to it. I, I just want to make at least another predictions video for the, mainly the season and what we might see instead of just scary girl because I really wanted to make this a separate video because this is big. This is big for a certain reason. Literally just scary girl and you scary girl fans because I know scary girl fans are probably gonna be mad. Oh, why did she change her design? Why did you why is she out first? And why is this? And why is that? I don't like this. I don't like that. So I made this if they see it that so I can explain my thoughts on it and if they actually can agree on that and will enjoy that, but but also understand that having her there would probably be repetitive. I don't know. I'm not trying to change your opinions, but I'm just saying my like opinion and thought and what I think will happen because I've also seen the idea of her being an intern so I expanded upon it in a scary girl way because like scary there's some way there's got to be a reason and whatever she did to even get eliminated in the first place what did she do uh, uh, whatever we'll we'll wait and see but I think that's all I'll, I'll definitely drop more to the videos soon hopefully Maybe some other content. Hopefully, I'm just so excited. See you guys in the next video. Woo! Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out more on the left or right. Check out my channel. And if you want, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can walk home now. I can't wait to see what we upload next. I think we're on to something, you know? Okay, so I just thought about this real quick. I'm just gonna get this point across. I, if they don't do the idea that I've just made a whole video about, like Scary Girl, them wanting Scary Girl gone and whatever, and they're trying to, cause she's doing this and that, she's tampering and then she gets this development and now she's like crazy or whatever and she's ruining the show. I, there could be a possibility that normal girl AKA the nickname I gave for Scary Girl, it's new design. Since she tried to be normal, she could possibly be an intern, 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 and then actually, you know, I should actually try to be normal for everybody. And maybe we get a normal character, Scary Girl, or normal Lauren. She, I mean, maybe she goes by Lauren more than Scary Girl. And they start, it, maybe that's a character like they could go with, or a character development or whatever that they can go with, instead of having her just be the normal scary girl or normal girl that's just scarier and that just is terrorizing everyone. So maybe they, they could go with that as well, make her actually a normal person and try to be normal for everyone else. That's a possibility, and that's all I wanted to say.